Hello and welcome back to my devlog. Today I'm going to reveal my new project with my friend Giacomo. The new project's name is Tadpool Tales. Tadpool Tales is a shoot 'em up game about renewal and growth. The story is still in progress, but for now, with the research done thus far, we want to follow the similar path to the comparative mythology work of the hero with a thousand faces. I highly recommend you check it out if you are ever interested in making hero-like story games as the author's theory has been consciously applied by a wide variety of modern writers and artists like George Lucas. We also wanted to target the subject pollution and since frogs in many folklore stories describe this as an opportunity to cleanse and as well as renew, I thought the two subjects correlated very well. In terms of mechanic, the game will be based on waves containing a boss fight at each milestone Taking inspiration from the research with the ability to switch between land and water, we want to make the tadpole evolve during gameplay, changing certain attributes to the player, losing something or gaining something else. So far, we would like to design this game for mobile. As when Maddie came out, many of my friends asked if they could try it on their phone, and since I've never made a mobile game, this is a great learning experience. For the past week, my friend Giacomo came to visit me in Romania, Giacomo is a digital artist. You're a digital artist, right? It's very vague. Giacomo is a digital artist. Okay, to the artist. Sorry. <laughs> to the artist is impressive. Giacomo is a very talented 2D artist. He made the animation and all the art assets for Maddie. And um, if you don't know the Maddie game, Maddie was the first game I've ever made. And I made it with my friend Giacomo. The mechanic from the Tadpool Tales game is inspired from this mini game um, from a Carbic game and the art style technique is similar to Cuphead, so like frame by frame. I've used several resources uh, to achieve touch controls thanks to Brackies and also with the help from Blackthorn Prod I managed to adjust the resolution for the mobile game. I first made a player movement script with, um, with an accelerometer. I realized that using the gyroscope wasn't the best way to tackle enemy movements on mobile and actually I had to use the accelerometer as it made more sense as it only uses the x, y axis and not the whole uh, vector 3 axis. Then I made the enemy to be able to shoot bullets so creating a fire point to the position and then having a cooldown so as you tap down it will continuously shoot at a steady space i've also made some basic enemy behavior and uh, we decided that we'll be splitting types of enemies in two one in key enemy as in the enemies that takes the wave counts and then also the types of enemies that just spawn around and they don't take part in the waves the wave enemies have a more AI-like behavior, whereas the extra enemies behave in non-AI non I don't even know how to describe it. Now with the session, this is the tough part. So as you can see here, I have uh, random enemies and uh, then I also have a wave check to check which wave uh, we're currently in. So you can see here if the tap count is bigger or equals to one so after i tapped once at least on my uh, on my screen then we can have a next wave check if the enemy is being killed is bigger or equals to the enemy spawn and we check again if the start transition time uh, is bigger or equal than the transition time then we spawn the next wave <clears throat> that way it will wait every three seconds or two seconds depending on the game designer how they set it um, in terms of the frequency time. Spawn next wave. When they spawn the next wave, we increment the wave uh, number and then we set the enemies to zero. So we're basically resetting the whole transition. And then the spawn key enemies. When they spawn the key enemies, we create two variables about uh, amount and random enemies. Then uh, I made it here to be more handcrafted uh, the first five levels so we can have a more control over how enemies are spawned. That way we can control better pacing here. And then let's say after the sixth one, we will start spawning a random enemies with a random amount of enemies. And also, um, also, yeah, 
I don't know how to describe this. So in, and when you spawn each enemies, we'll have a we'll select a random position, and then we'll also select a random enemy between the range from what we have and in the list, and also from zero. And then we instantiate here the key enemies with a random number selected from the range, spawn points with a random position selected before, and then after the loop is finished, we tell the wave the amount of the enemy spawned. I haven't finished the extra enemies waves because they behave differently. I'm thinking of putting them in a totally different script. But yeah, that's it. And that's how it should look like. I have dropped all the resources that I use and that help me throughout the way in the link down below. Please consider joining us on Discord if you are interested in this project or even just in game devs in general. We are a small group of people who love to see and share the progress. I also post daily improvements on Twitter and Instagram. And with that being said, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.